Join me as I put my scuba diving skills to the test and tackle all the essential techniques every diver should master. When it comes to scuba diving, having the right skills can make all the difference between a safe and enjoyable experience and one that's fraught with danger and uncertainty. As divers, we've all heard the horror stories of accidents and near misses, and we know that mastering the right techniques is crucial to staying safe underwater. Panic underwater is a real phenomenon that can happen to anyone, regardless of experience or training. It's that feeling of losing control, of being overwhelmed by the situation, and of not knowing what to do next. We've all been there, or at least know someone who has, and it's a terrifying experience that can have serious consequences. Equipment malfunction is another common issue that can catch even the most seasoned divers off guard. A faulty regulator, a broken fin, or a tangled line can turn a routine dive into a fight for survival. And then there are navigation issues, getting lost underwater, or failing to follow established safety protocols. These are all scenarios that can easily be avoided, or at least mitigated, with the right skills and training. Take, for example, the diver who doesn't know how to properly respond to a free flow, or the one who can't navigate a current without getting exhausted. These are situations that can quickly spiral out of control, and that's why it's so important to develop the right skills and instincts. We've all heard the saying, diving is a team sport, and it's true. But even with a great buddy by your side, you still need to know how to take care of yourself in an emergency. And that's exactly what I want to focus on today the key skills that every scuba diver should develop, no matter their level of experience or certification. Buoyancy control, for instance, is an essential skill that every diver should master. It's the ability to maintain a stable and neutral buoyancy without touching the bottom or disturbing the marine life. It's a skill that requires practice and patience, but it's one that will make your dive so much more enjoyable and safe. Another critical skill is equalization techniques. Knowing how to clear your ears and sinuses at depth and how to avoid the dreaded squeeze. And then, of course, there are emergency procedures. Knowing how to respond to a diver emergency, how to signal for help and how to stay calm under pressure. I remember a particularly harrowing experience I had on a dive in the Caribbean. My buddy and I were exploring a wreck at about 80 feet when suddenly my regulator started to free flow. It was one of those moments where time stands still and all you can think about is getting to the surface as quickly and safely as possible. Luckily, I had practiced my emergency procedures enough to know exactly what to do. I stayed calm, signaled to my buddy, and slowly made my way to the surface. It was a close call, but it could have been much worse if I hadn't had the right skills and training. That experience really drove home the importance of mastering these essential skills, and it's something that I want to impart to all of you watching today. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, it's never too late to develop these critical skills that will make your dive safer and more enjoyable. Mastering these essential skills is crucial to becoming a confident and competent scuba diver. By developing buoyancy control, equalization techniques, and emergency procedures, you'll be able to tackle any situation that comes your way and enjoy the beauty and wonder of the underwater world with peace of mind. So what's your favorite scuba diving experience? Have you ever had to use one of these essential skills in a real life situation? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to check out my next video on advanced diving techniques.